Hello, trading is closed on the 26th of April, 2024. We always begin with our disclaimer. We will go over our calls and we'll make some predictions. Well, this is my trading plan for Monday. Monday is April 29th, 2024. Please remember it's a plan. I can change it. I can be wrong. Any trade you make should be made at your own risk. People unfamiliar with my MJT system should pause the video and read about it. And all the rules are available here. Well, we look for the pattern today with the early high, and that's this. Here's what we said. Look for the pattern with the early high. Monday should have the early low. I said the pattern really wasn't clear. I said uh, we could have a gap in, in trap, but that wasn't the only way to count it. And if we had it, it could be the end of the leg, but we didn't have it. So there really wasn't a call. These are the patterns we should see next week. Monday has the early low. Note that on Thursday we have Carol Ann's F18 for March 23rd, 2020. Now, a lot of people attach a lot of importance to these dates. I'm not certain... This one's going to matter that much. A lot of these dates don't amount to anything. If there is a major change in trend, it tends to occur on these dates with a three-day leeway in either direction. But the converse isn't true. Just because you have a date, it doesn't mean you're going to have a major change in trend. The only way I could see us having a major change in trend here would be if we had a huge drop into that date. It's possible because um, sentiment indicators are so negative, they almost trigger a buy. And I'm certain they aren't as negative now, but if there would be a big drop, it would probably be enough to trigger a buy. I'm just going to mention it, but we don't have to make any trade based on that now. Okay, uh, let's um, let's look at the calls from from today. MJT said this rally was false, it wouldn't stick. You retrace said this drop is false, wouldn't stick, and that's retraced. So that's already played out. This is a pattern which you, which, which usually is a negative pattern, it has an early low, high and a late low, and it's usually negative, and the fact that it wasn't negative is positive. But we don't know for sure because Monday's open can substitute for Friday's close, and if we open way down here, which, as we'll see, is entirely possible. Then we have the normal, the normal pattern. The problem with this is this stopped the lot of resistance areas. First of all, we gapped up, hit higher highs, closed under all the highs. If that's maintained, that's a negative pattern. Of course, if you gap up, all that negativity goes away. Well, here's the daily chart. Here we have our channel. We get a straight line drop uh, through this trend line. The targets to return to the trend line. We did that. Here's the 50-day moving average. That's now resistance since you broke under it. A lot of times markets and correction can play ping pong between the 50 and 200-day moving average. Now, of course, if you gap over it, that negativity goes away. But right now, it's resistance. Here's your RSI, 49.75. Usually when you're over 50, you're going up, and when you're under 50, you're going down. So once again, if you go, if you gap up here, you've overcome resistance, you've gone back over 50, you've broken through the trend line, it's all sweetness and light. But if we don't gap, if we don't gap over it, this is a target for the end of this light. Longer term, it's a very bullish, it's a very bullish chart. We've completed a huge ABC. Here's leg, here's wave one up of some degree. We're in wave two. Here's your wave one. Let's focus in on smaller time frames to look at this wave two, which I don't think is complete.
Well, we had this first leg down, that's A. Let's see what's happened since then. There are a number of ways to look at this. I had this as an ABC up for A, but you can have, also have A ending here with good fibs, and then this, this A, a brown B, gold A, a brown B, could be an expanded flat, and if that's true, then alternate A, and alternate C are equal right here. So that could be the end of B. Here's your A. Could be B, could be A or B. You also have our friend the diamond on stilts. Here's your stilt. This is a twisted diamond, but that's a diamond. Here's another stilt. And now we have a diamond again. Half a diamond's enough. These things will frequently occur back to back and even back to back to back. So it's common, but not required there to be another stilt down. Now, there's nothing that requires the pattern to go to completion. But if we gap down, if it does go to completion, the target's the origin of the left stilt, which is reversing all of today's gains, all of Friday's gains. So, we have mixed signals. Let's go over them. Monday's pattern has really low, which doesn't tell us how we open. It is bullish that Friday's normally bearish pattern wasn't. And if that's maintained at the open, it should lead to higher prices, even if we don't close higher. But if we gap down smartly, that kills the pattern. should know that before the open. It's bearish. We've gapped up, hit a higher high, closed under multiple intraday highs. We've rallied to an area of strong resistance, and there's a wave count compatible with this leg being over. And if you gap up smartly, that kills the pattern. So the odds, I think, favor very, I think the odds favor gapping smartly in Monday's open. Friday's late drop usually, usually follows through with Monday's open. So the odds favor, they don't require, but they favor gapping down and probably gapping down smartly in Monday's open. And of course, if that's not true, we'll know before the open. So we have the pattern with the early low. Signals are mixed, probably a gap. We either break through resistance or the targets to re undo all of today's gains if we get down smartly at the open. Again, it's not a requirement, but it happens open enough. It's the pattern with the early low Monday, and that's today's, uh, and, and, and that's, that's today's call. Just don't forget, no matter what happens on Monday, even if we get down smartly, I think we're going much, much higher before this is over. And now that's today's call.